All right, welcome back to another Laguna Quick Start tutorial for the PL1220 laser. In this tutorial, we are inside of our D-Works and I want to show you how to do some common things and, and then output a file. One of the most common things you'll probably do is a little bit of copying and pasting. In this case, all, we're working with our, our gear output that we did from Illustrator in the previous tutorial. And I want to basically copy and paste this. So if I select the image and come up into our edit, and we'll do a copy, and then we'll do an immediate paste. Edit, paste. And you can see it appeared out here. So we now have a, a single version of this over here, and we have one in here. And there they are. Super. Well, first what we want to do is we want to do not just a cut, which this one is set up for doing a cut. We want to take this one over here and instead of cutting this one, let's try engraving or etching this one. So I'll go ahead and select this. Um, we are grouped right now, so that way I can select all of them at once. So I'll go ahead and group those and let's choose a different color, say like green um, to color those. Uh, next, what we want to do is move this back down into the center where this one came from. So what we'll do is we'll use this page center page button, but if you don't see this menu bar up here, make sure you come up into your view and look for your arrange bar. Uh, if that's disabled, then you're not going to see that, um, that page center so option. So let's go ahead and click arrange bar, and now we have our arrange bar back. So I'll go ahead and select this item and we want to make sure that it's grouped when we do this because if we don't well let me just show you what it what happens if if we don't i'll go ahead and take uh select all of those vectors and they are ungrouped let's make sure by just selecting them individually yep they're ungrouped so let's take all of those and let's just send, center those on the center page. <laughs> well, you can see where it just basically took each one of those individual vectors and centered them into this page, which we don't want. So we'll go ahead and do a basic undo, and we'll put them back out there, and drag it over there a little bit. Now I'll grab all of them. We'll go ahead and group those together. We'll select them again and this time we can center them on that page. All right, so there it is. Now, you'll notice that what happened is it made two different um, layers over here. One is our original black layer, which is going to be our cut layer, and then this one right here is set for cut right now, but if I double click that cut, it'll open up my layer parameter, and I don't want this to cut, I want this to engrave. So what we have to do is switch the processing mode up to scan mode, and then we have a max power, let's just say a max power of uh, 70. Um, just It's all gonna vary depending on well, what materials you're doing, but we'll give it a lot of power so that it'll burn and, and etch that in really, really good. And our speed is set way too slow, so this would be more for cutting. So we'll set this up for, say, 200, and we'll just leave everything else at default and hit OK. And you'll notice that each time you make changes, those changes are right here, your minimum, maximum power, and your speed settings. You can also change your speed settings down here. Let's say I want to take this scan speed setting up to something more like, say, 300. I can enter that numerically in there, and now it's going to be uh, 300 on the speed. So the next thing you should be aware of is that here you have uh, options to get into your layer parameters, but let's say we want to scan this first. Generally, you would want to scan first and then cut out parts. So I'm going to click on this layer right here, and I'm going to just drag it down one, and that changes the order of, of the various um, uh, order. For scanning or cutting. Now, the output, you can actually have many layers in here like this and then turn off the output as needed. Um, you would do that in case you, you don't want something to, um, to output. So in this case, I'll, I'll change, double click that and change the scan to no, and I'll leave this on yes. You can also hide layers. Um, if I double click on our, let me 
let me click out of there for a second so I can activate it. You can see where it's green right there. Let's say I want to hide it. I can double click there and that hides this whole layer. So right now it's not outputting and it's hidden. So we'll go ahead and re-enable that and see what happens. So the layer is not hid. Let's do a quick simulation. I'll hit the preview and we'll do our simulation and see what happens. Okay, so basically it just did a cut function. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit escape to get out of there. Now let's turn on our, our scan mode now and see what happens with this simulation. So we'll have scanning and cutting going on right now. And let's try a simulation. So you'll notice it looks a little bit different. And there it's going to basically scan everything that is contained within these vectors. So this would be the etching portion. Let's say you want to cut this out of wood. This might cut, you know, a millimeter deep into the wood and you'd have this really nice burn. Um, it would look really cool or, you know, whatever. So anyway, that's what's going to happen there. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up uh, through the magic of editing. And then we will take a look at it as it's cutting these parts as well. Okay, now it should be transferring into the cuts. And as you can see, it is now cutting and cutting around the outside edge. All right, so you can see it did its job and there you have it. So let's get out of escape. Let's hit escape and get back into our D works. Now, you can do a lot with uh, scanning and cutting and layers over here. So just be careful that you know what, what your groupings are and that you group and ungroup things accordingly. And there you have it. So, hey, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.